Welcome to Soltron. I was on the TFW 2005 boards and I saw a user named Grim TNT did this iMod for the Armada Optimus Prime, which I thought was really cool where they made him, where they gave him like these chrome red eyes. And you can see I did that mod too. So I think his eyes look a lot cooler. You can see they're not perfect. There's a little, there's some wrinkles in there, but I'll just show you the process of how I did it. But I think this really enhances his look. And then I did this to a lot of figures. So let me go ahead and grab those. Okay, we could see here's the Zoids Nemesis Prime that I made. Um, these eyes were always really dark and dead. He had like light piping, but there was no light in the back. So I think this really improves his look and gives, gives some life to his eyes. You can actually see his eyes are not just black. And then we got our Kingdom Optimus Primal. So you can see the light just catches the chrome really nicely. So that looks pretty good too. And then we got Armada Megatron. And there's probably too much going on. But it works pretty well on this guy. It's surprising because his visor has so much shadow over it, but he, his eyes really do a good job catching the light. So he looks really awesome. So his eyes are nice and lit up. And then we've also got the Kingdom Beast Wars Megatron. And you can see his eyes are kind of flat, so they catch the eye, the light in a weird way, but it still works. Definitely gives these guys some life. So I really like that, that look a lot. Okay, but that's not all. I also did the gold eyes. So you can see how that turned out really nicely on Armada Prime here. I really love how these eyes look. I think that just really elevates the figure. They catch the light really nicely. Of course, I had to do Leo Prime too. So really good looking, even though the foil kind of like kinked a little bit right there, he still looks really excellent. The light just catches his eyes very nicely when he's in my display case. I really like that look. Looks good on Senator Ratbat too. Like the chrome gold is very nice. And you can see it's a little bit imperfect, but his eyes look pretty great. And here's basically what I use. So I also have a lot of figures with blue eyes. So I wanted to try these, this blue foil. Um, these don't turn out very good, unfortunately. But we also got our standard Twix wrapper. So we got a lot of gold there. We got what's left of my red. Um, I couldn't find... It's hard to find red wrappers, but I got this from like a Rocky Road, which is maybe the worst candy I've ever had. Let's do this Studio Rhinox. I tried giving him silver and it just didn't really turn out very good. And his original eyes are just so small, they're hard to see. I think he's going to need some red to really make his eyes pop. So with figures like this with no screws in the back of the head, you have to just break the glue that's holding their heads together. And you do that, you just shove the hobby knife in there. You shove it down as far as you can. And you basically just twist it. This guy came out pretty easily because it's just like these two pegs that are glued there. And you can see he's got like a unit, um, a Cyclops eye, interestingly enough, which is not, I've not seen that in any other figures. And then we're just going to get like a piece of red foil. So we just cut like a little slip and we're just going to put that over the eye. And then we're just going to sandwich this back on top. I don't know if I could do this on camera. Uh, we'll try. Yeah, it's definitely moving around. I don't think that's going to work out. So I'll probably have to do that off camera, but you just sandwich it back in place again. You might need like a little piece of blue tack to hold the foil where you want it. There we go. It's sandwiched and I, I think those eyes are better. You can actually see them now, which is very nice. And they do catch a little bit of the light. They're really sunk in there, so he's not going to glow as much as the others. But I think that that works for me. I'd like to have other colors, but red just works the best. The red and the gold are really nice. And then we can try like a blue one, and you can see why this doesn't really work out. So same thing with Hot Shot here. You just find the seam, and his head's always like a little bit loose. I should probably just glue it. And you're just going to... I opened this one earlier, by the way. 
you just dig it in there where the seam is and you just crank it and his head will pop, his face will pop pretty much right off. And you can see there's his eyes. When I bought this guy, he already had like a little cut in his eye. And then we can try like a little blue and you're gonna see it's not gonna look as good as, as his original paint. Okay, so same thing, I got this huge piece of blue foil. I'm just gonna cover his eyes just so we can see what it looks like. Obviously this piece is too big to fit in his head. And I'm just gonna put his face over it. And we just sandwich that back together. Okay, he's really fighting me on this one. Oh, his, even his little head peg came out. Oh, well, that'll just make it easier. We'll just do this just to see how it looks. It's not gonna look good, unfortunately. Okay. So now we got his new eyes in place and you can see this foil is just too dark. You can't even really see his eyes. If I can get a lighter blue, this might actually be a really good look. But unfortunately, the light's not catching it because he's got such a big visor. So this blue just really doesn't quite work. You can see it working a little bit, but his eyes look very dead compared to just his default paint. That just looks better, unfortunately. So I'll have to hold out on him until I can get a better color of blue. I even tried it on the Great Admiral here, and you can see his eye. It looks pretty cool. It's nice and chromey, but compared to his pale blue eye, the pale blue just kind of works better. I actually kind of like the way it looked on this guy because he's got such big eyes, they catch a lot of the light. So it almost works, but I still feel like it's a little too dark but I, I really do appreciate that chrome blue does look kind of cool. So tried it out on the original Armada wheel jack. You can see his one eye actually looks pretty good. So that's his chrome eye and then the other eye just left, which was this dark gray color. So his eyes always looked very dead. So the chrome works a little bit. I think if they were lighter, the chrome blue would just really fire off on this guy. Unfortunately, it just doesn't quite get it. So I'll need to keep looking for really light blue wrappers. I've got a couple more Megatrons that definitely need some red eyes. So this custom Energon Megatron I've been working on, these gray eyes just really aren't cutting it. And then I already unscrewed Skywarp's head here or um, Skyquake, I mean. So we're just gonna wedge this into the seam. I actually haven't opened this head. So this might have glue in addition to the screw. So that's kind of annoying. So I'm just gonna do my best not to cut myself more than I already have. Yeah, it's definitely glued in place too, so that's kind of annoying. So you just have to like keep finding weak points. Okay, so I got this side of his head pried open. I just shoved it in here and then just torqued it a little bit. Now I gotta just do this side and his head should pop right off. Okay, that sounded good. So that cut the little tab that was holding his head together. So now this whole assembly's come out and you see there is glue there. And then we're just gonna have to separate like his light piping, which really does not work on this guy. Even if I get, if I put like a light, a flashlight right on it, you can kind of see it, but they painted his, over, his eyes over red. So you just, his eyes just look very bad. And I just popped his whole head off and that felt very uncomfortable because this is all clear plastic. It did not feel good. I was very worried it was going to crack. Did it crack? No, it looks like it's mostly intact. Okay, so now I'm going to try to wedge out this from this. Yeah, that really does not want to come out. It looks like there's something else holding it. I think it's just the some tension from this post right here. Definitely gonna have to work this with something thicker. I loosened that up with the steak knife. 
now it's out enough that I can pry it the rest of the way with this. Or so I thought. Uh, yeah, it's really close. It's just I think the paint on the eyes made this whole thing just stick in his eye sockets. There it goes finally. So we could just take that out and you see we got these eyes that have red paint on them, making them kind of useless. And because these go so deep and they're sharp, you kind of have to soften up the really pointy edges. Otherwise you're gonna tear the foil. So you have to kind of make these a little bit more rounded, which shouldn't affect the look too much as long as you're just making the eyes a little bit more flat. And then the other thing you need to do is the inside of the eyes. These are really deep recesses, so you kind of have to carve out the plastic here too so you don't tear the foil. And that's actually how I hurt my finger. Okay, so now I'm basically just gonna put a piece of the red foil here into his face as I shove these eyes back through his eye sockets and hopefully these aren't so sharp that they're gonna tear through the foil. So we'll see how this works out. Okay, and I cut this piece of foil so it can go around the post. And then I'm just gonna shove the eyes in there and that should hopefully shove everything through these sockets. I got Skyquake done and I used a lot of my foil. This guy was a real pain. I definitely had to cut his eyes a little flatter because they just stuck out too much, but I think the result was worthwhile. You can actually see his eyes now. They catch the light very nicely. He looks very sinister. Uh, but man, that was, that was like the hardest one yet. So if you're going to do that guy, um, be prepared to like mangle his eyes. Okay, and this gamer Megatron, he doesn't have a screw on the back of his head either. Oh, this is this cracked right open like very easily. So hopefully we can just get this without maiming myself. Okay, we got that side of his head. It's pretty much cracked open. Now we just do this side. That sounds pretty good. So it's opening a little bit. Here's the inside of his and he's got tiny pointy little eyes too. So this guy might not be the best for this. And I'm running a little bit low on my red foil, but I'm gonna try to do the same thing. Just get that in there and then just sandwich that right back in place. Yeah, I'm gonna definitely have to trim that. But there's his done. I don't know if that even makes a difference. Let's see, here's with the eyes on, with the eyes off. Does it make any difference? Not really. Let's do Energon Megatron. He's got eyes that are nice and flat, so this should work out very nicely this time. All right, there we go. That was a nice, easy one. And there's his eyes nicely in place. He turned out very nicely, just like Beast Wars Megatron. That guy was very easy. Yep, that really completes his look. So yeah, that turned out very nicely. I'll go ahead and screw his head back together, and he's his eyes are pretty much done. They came in very nice. No real issues there. So yeah, that's how you do that. Um... Definitely don't do this guy until you've had some practice and you're willing to like completely botch his eyes because uh, that was the hardest one by far. Skyquake was no fun at all. But yeah, this is pretty fun. I like doing this. This is more fun for me than like painting the eyes. So hopefully that's useful for somebody and I'll see you in the next one.